Hey there, my name is Dr. Ruth Steidinger, and I am the proud principal of Olive Chapel Elementary in Wake County Public Schools. I'm also the 2020 North Central Regional Principal of the Year. And I've been asked to share a couple of thoughts about how Wake County has made this shift during this pandemic to ensure that we meet the needs of all of our children with regards to, to meals. I had the opportunity to speak with Ms. Paula DeLuca. Our, she oversees our child nutrition services in Wake County Public Schools. And she gave me some compelling statistics that I'd like to share with you. We deliver meals to 72 neighborhood locations, as well as to hotels for students in transition via our big bus food truck program. Our bus drivers are delivering meals during this time. We have served roughly 4 million, 4 million during this pandemic. In addition, we have drive through meal pickup services at 47 curbside locations, and we continue to serve our students in person for free. One of the things that Mr. Luca shared with me that was very compelling and left, caused me pause, is that what we've discovered during this pandemic, that there are families that are in need where it may have been not been so obvious to us during our normal day-to-day -day operations. There's a lot more vulnerability in our society and community for which we are not aware. We often see poverty as tagged to certain neighborhoods, the look of it or the collection of the individuals who live there but what we have seen is that poverty does not have a stereotypical face. It can be masked by, by things for which we take for granted. For instance, one may see a family's home and consider them to be financially stable. But what we may not know is behind those doors could be two parents or a single parent who may have lost their job and now can't afford to put meals on the table. So what was compelling to me is that we've got to be careful about making assumptions about any family during this pandemic. And that's the shift that we've had to make is that we are finding that we have a lot more families at risk and in a vulnerable situation than we anticipated. We're grateful to Congress for giving the USDA waivers to operate in the manner in which we are might be something that we might have to consider moving forward so that we ensure that no child ever goes hungry. I'm tremendously grateful for the work of North Carolina No Kid Hungry and the, the passion they have around the work to ensure that every child comes to school, be it in person or virtual at this point, with, with a meal so that they don't come to the table of learning hungry because we know that if a child's basic needs aren't met, it is a tremendous challenge to engage in learning. So I'm grateful to Wake County Public Schools, to Ms. DeLuca and all the hard work that she and her staff have done to ensure that all of our students are fed and also to North Carolina No Kid Hungry for the work that they do. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you.